My name is Dr. Mark Harris and today I'm going to talk to you about life after death. I want to try and, and explain to you an enlightening out-of-body experience that I've had. Now, as I talk about this experience, it may offend seriously religious people. However, everybody, most people, are afraid of dying. They do not know what is on the other side. A lot of people are religious, and a lot of people aren't. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened to me when I had this out-of-body experience. I was not ill, on a hospital bed, I actually did it myself, purely by accident. And there is a way of leaving your body yourself, and it is quite easy. But how I found this method was in 1972. When I was running a nightclub, and I had to bar people, and made enemies, and I was attacked one evening in town by a group of men that I barred. However, lucky for me it wasn't, I wasn't hurt seriously, but it shook me up. I was shaking all the way home. I was living at Diggs at the time, and I used to say my prayers every evening. I used to get into bed, throw the blankets over my head, and it seemed to comfort me, the surrounds, the darkness and completeness. I started visualizing the lane where this incident took place, where these five fellows were involved in attacking me. And I said, I want to be protected from now on. I do not want to be in this situation again where I'm vulnerable like this. I want to be aware of everything. I want you to watch my back from now on. Wherever I go, I want you to make sure that I'm going to be okay. And I kept repeating this every evening and kept visualizing the lane where the incident took place and remembering what happened on that day. Three and a half months later, I'm still doing this every night, I came home roughly about four o'clock in the morning and I got into bed and I continued my routine, my mantra, my repeated request. And in my mind, when I visualized the lane as normal, I saw a door appear. Not a door as such, but the shape of a door, black, totally black. And it was saying, if you go through this door, you will not be afraid. I entered the black space. And suddenly, I felt myself drifting through space. I ended up in the lane where the incident took place. I was floating in a gold and yellow light, a warm gold and yellow light. A wonderful feeling, absolutely wonderful. And my brain had altered 
beyond comprehension. It was as though my subconscious and my conscious mind and everything else in my mind that wasn't working before is certainly working now. I knew everything. Everything about this world. If anybody asked me a question about this world, I could give them an answer. It was a wonderful feeling. And I realised I was I, w I was in an area where I couldn't get hurt by anybody. Because it occurred to me that we are, we are living in a third dimensional world. If you look up, that is one dimension. If you look down, that is two dimensions. And if you look around yourself in a circle, that is the third dimensional world that we live in. I was in between the third and the fourth dimension. It was absolutely wonderful, a wonderful feeling. Another strong feeling that came over me was the fact that I loved everybody. People I hadn't met, people I hadn't known, people I didn't like. It didn't make any difference. I loved everybody. It seemed to me as though we're here for a test to see how we manage, see how we get through our life. And an incredible feeling came over me that we were all run and controlled by electric, static electric. Everybody was connected to the same system, the static electric system. It was almost like a mobile phone wave. Couldn't get tangled up with anybody else's. But we were all run by electric. The body that I was in, we feed it to make it live by eating and drinking. But what makes you move round was the static electric. The brain firing electric currents to the arms, to the muscles, to the legs of the muscles to make you move around. Without static electric you were dead. And I was experiencing this incredible knowledge and thinking of God at the time. But this seemed to be a totally different feeling. It was a feeling of far superior being than what we call God. Now, I assume that all the people that introduced their first religion had good intentions and had an enlightening experience like myself. And the only way they could express those feelings was to say that it was being created by the Almighty God, our Creator. And they started their religions with those intentions of being good, considerate, such as the Ten Commandments. In other words, to cut all that down is to treat other people as you like to be treated. The experience ended very abruptly. I said, how did I get here in my mind? That's all I said.